Arteries and the veins, they're the most important constituent for the circulatory system. The function of the arteries is actually to develop the, to deliver the oxygenated blood to the different parts of the body. But the veins actually, they are responsible for the drainage and for bringing the blood to the heart from the different parts of the body. There can be some pathologies which can be which can be developed in the arteries or which can be developed in the veins. But today we'll be talking more about the pathologies which are related to the arteries and causing the stenosis and occlusion. There is a difference between a stenosis and occlusion. In today's topic, uh, we'll be talking about more precisely on the arterial occlusive diseases. The, ma the main uh, pathogenic mechanism behind the development of the arterial stenosis and occlusion is the process of atherogenesis and the development of different kind of atheromas and later on development of the thromboembolic disorders. So in today's lecture, more precisely, we'll be discussing about the occlusion of the arteries, not generally about the peripheral vasculature, but we'll be talking a little bit about the central vasculature as well. We'll be talking about signs and symptoms of the stenosis or the chronic ischemias, uh, the, the signs and symptoms which we can find in lower limbs, like intermittent claudication, rest pain, and other. The, the consequently effects of the arterial occlusion in the cerebral vessels in the form of, uh, you know, the stroke and the transient ischemic attacks. We'll be talking about the coronary vasculature stenosis and which is actually developing the myocardial infarction in the anginas. The effect of uh, uh, this atherogenesis and the development of the occlusion and stenosis on the renal vasculature. So we'll be talking about all these symptoms in detail. Then uh, how to investigate a case of the arterial stenosis or arterial occlusion and starting from the general investigation, what kind of general investigations you should order for and how they are going to, ha to, uh, to be very much helpful in making the diagnosis. Plus, we'll be talking about uh, the relationship of the, uh, the diabetes and hypertension and hyperlipidemia on the development of the uh, atherogenosis and ultimately the stenosis and occlusion. Uh, pr uh, more precisely, we'll be talking about the specific investigation like the Doppler ultrasound and the duplex scanning and obviously the angiographies, which can be percutaneous translaminal angiography. Then we'll be talking about the um, surgical management and non-surgical management and interventional management in case of the occlusive diseases. So starting from the uh, non-surgical uh, non-surgical treatment, like what risk factors are modifiable and how you can modify them, the effect of exercise, the effect of walking, effect of uh, you know control of good glycemic index uh, on uh, the you know, um, on the uh, in the process of pathogenesis, in the process of the pathogenesis and development of the atherosclerosis. So we'll be talking about the interventional uh, uh, options we have available. Like we'll be talking about the percutaneous transluminal angioplasties, subintimal angioplasties, and uh, we'll be talking about the balloon dilatation and uh, placing a stent in the arteries, uh, which is more more um, related to the interventional cardiology. Uh, but at the end, we'll be talking about uh, the uh, vascular surgical options we have available. Like we'll be talking about the bypass grafting, like keotofemoral bypass graft, and uh, femoral popliteal bypass graft. And in case of carotid, uh, like we can go for the carotid endotorectomy. We'll be talking about all these uh, procedures in detail. For the detailed uh, lecture, keep watching Scardia.com. We have other lectures on our site as well uh, related to the general surgery course and other courses as well. You can go there, subscribe to that, uh, get access, and uh, enjoy those lectures. For the detailed lecture, keep watching Scardia.com with Dr. Sana Khan.